You've heard us say time and again that the N57 from BMW is one of the best performing diesel engines ever. And we've reviewed it in its stock format, its stage 2 format, but never in its balls out stage 3 form. Well, that changes today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavni Bhatwani and standing right next to me is a BMW 530D in its stage 3 format. What's it capable of? Let's find out. Let's talk about the design of the F10 5 Series for a bit. In my opinion, this is one of the best looking generations of 5 Series ever. Before this generation, it was a bit bland and boxy. After this generation, it looks a little bit desperate and I think the F10 is the perfect sweet spot in the middle where the edginess is still there and the curves are still visible. Plus, the grille is not ugly like the new generation of 5 Series, but that's a personal opinion. The owner has also opted for these M4 wheels that are 18 inches and are wrapped around Michelin PS5 rubber. It's also on M shocks and M springs, making it a perfect fitment. My favourite part of the spec of this car is just how understated it looks. When you see it passing through the road, you're not going to be noticing it that much and it's not that desperately pretty. But someone like you and me who appreciates proper fitment will look at this car and be like, yummy, this looks nice. The interior of the F10 530D is quintessential sedan for you. If you're familiar with BMWs, everything over here is as BMW as it gets. The steering wheel of the F10 has gotten a bit old uh, compared to the newer generation, the G series of BMWs in terms of interior. And the owner has spruced up the interior a little bit more with all of this carbon fiber trim that looks very nice and very sporty. In terms of this specific spec, the seats are very brown, which is good news because this car is so fast that if somebody soils themselves in the passenger seat, at least it would be the same shade. So let's just talk about that. Let's go to the engine. Time to address the elephant in the room, which is quite a big elephant. Three liters of displacement and six cylinders. So the N57, as I said before, is arguably one of the best diesel engines to ever be produced. And that is because its priority wasn't efficiency, its priority was performance. And that's not very common for diesel engines especially. So the N57, pretty straightforward, a BMW with three liters of displacement and six cylinders in a straight row. But this one has been fiddled with. This has got a VNT turbo with a ball bearing conversion and a billet wheel. You've also got a performance air filter, a much larger intercooler, a custom full exhaust system with quad pipes that are resonated and an ECU and TCU tune from Tunotronics. Now, this beast produces 400 bhp and 800 Newton meters of torque. Stuff dreams are made of. This turbocharger has been custom built by Tunotronics in order to be reliable on the street and competitive on track. And reliability is Tunotronics' middle name. All of the Tunotronics cars that came to this year's Valley Run Drag event travelled over a thousand kilometers to compete, they kicked some butt and then all the cars were driven back with no issues at all. So the 5 Series globally is considered to be the go-to luxury sedan with levels of performance and quite a lot of practicality. It's a huge car and it's got a lot of space. Plus, the visibility around is quite nice. Since it's a BMW, you can attain a very nice GT-like driving position. And uh, it is a very nice car to drive. After all, a BMW is all about the sheer driving pleasure. And uh, yeah, it is a pretty simple car. But this one takes all of that performance, all of that power and all of that sheer driving pleasure and turns it up to 11. Once I step onto the throttle, this car is a different animal. Now, yes, it can be a little better. The front uh, brakes have been upgraded to a slightly bigger set of rotors. But I would think that uh, you could do with an even bigger set of brakes since the amount of power that this car is pushing is quite ridiculous. Okay, so I made a mistake. 
These brakes hold 374mm rotors that are kind of as big as you can get inside these 18-inch rims. And in fact, it's not slightly larger than, they're pretty large compared to the stock setup. Talking about the N57, it is a block that has been around for quite a while and with reason, it is a very nice block that blends performance and efficiency perfectly for an enthusiast, in my opinion. Now, this specific N57 has been brought up all the way to 400 bhp and 800 newton meters of torque and let's just say the results are bewildering. So this specific 530D in its stage 3 form has brought out quite a lot of speed from this engine and uh, yeah, it is still a luxury barge so it does it in a pretty non-dramatic manner and But this 530D is not about driving practicality or the blend of performance and efficiency. This is a balls to the wall 400 bhp car. So let's just go down a gear. Oh my god! Yes! So this has still retain quite a lot of practicality if you think that spinning your wheels is practical. First impressions is that the turbo lag is quite apparent. You've got a pretty linear surge of power all the way to 3000 rpm and after that hell breaks loose. Now while I mentioned wheel spin and how it can be detrimental for outright numbers, in the car's defense, you can argue that any car with a two-wheel drive drivetrain, no matter what, front or rear, will struggle to put down a monstrous 800 Newton meters of torque in first and second. Moreover, the guys at Tunotronics have set up their launch control perfectly. So this 530D on a drag strip will do the quarter mile in a consistent 12.6 with no traction issues whatsoever. This car is still a rear-wheel drive car, so best believe Stamp on the throttle in first gear, second gear or whatever gear you're in and the wheels are going to be spinning quite a bit. Now, this is a long wheelbase so it is quite manageable but it is a hell of a lot of fun. Now, I just did a pull for maybe 200 meters and second and third gear, if you're at full chat, there is no grip which can be good news, can be bad news. Now, uh, if you're going on a track strip, that's going to be quite wasteful but if you're out to have fun, this is a fantastic rear-wheel drive car. That delivers its power in such an intoxicating manner. beast. Now, if you've got a 530D at home, I cannot urge you enough to go talk to Tunotronics and ask them to give you this setup because oh my god, it's such a fun car and it's still very well settled. Yes, it is an expensive affair, but trust me, it's so worth it. And with that bombshell, I'll leave you guys to it. Thank you so much for watching and what do you guys think is the top speed of this car let us know down in the comments down below let's see bye bye see you